good morning. It's Memorial Day and we had quite the um, set of storms come through last night, which means rain finally. But our power has been flickering on and off all night and it continues to do so this morning. So I'm not sure we can get the video up. We'll just see how things go. But I am going to be giving the chickens their Memorial Day treat, which is watermelon. Good morning, girls. Would you like some watermelon? I bet you would. Look at how eager they are. They like food. Food. Here comes the goodies. Here we go. Ready? Okay, let's see if I can do this one handed. Holding the camera. Watch out, girls. Woo! Now they're like, oh, uh, what are we supposed to do? There they go. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. I love it when they run away with the bees like that. <laughs> no, it's mine. No, they're not very good sharing. Go get your own piece. It's over there. Oh, then they discover it's actually really good. Okay, girls, enjoy. Check out that big old bunny rabbit. Haven't seen him around. Good thing I have a fence around my garden or he would be eating my food. It looks like the weeds certainly benefited from all the rain last night, but I'm gonna just take a look and see how everything made out because the plants are still really small. Looks like the basil made it, okay? I know it's hard to tell, tell the basil from the weeds, but here it is, it's right here. Right there, and then another one. And I think we lost another cauliflower, so I've gotta replant those probably today since the soil's nice and wet. Oh dear, look at this. Somebody dug my nice looking cucumber up. Uh, see, that is aggravating. I don't know who does it, but somebody does it. And it's very aggravating. And I know it's not the cutworm because the cutworm doesn't dig a hole like that. See, look at that. There are the roots. They nibbled off the top. And it just happened because the plant is still very very much fresh. There's old Mr. Bunny Rabbit just on the other side of the garden. I'm pretty sure he is not getting in because I wouldn't have anything left. But he's certainly looking for a way to get in. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Hi, Mr. Bunny. Sorry, I can't let you in my garden. Somebody's in the chicken coop. Who is it? Who's in? Oh, it's Art. Hey, Mr. Somebody or other. Took out that nice cucumber plant. Oh. Hmm. Good morning, viewers. We are just starting to eat breakfast, and this is what we are having for breakfast. Baby. We are eating Dutch babies. Well, we had two. this one is a fruit one. We had a a meat pie over there. Actually, a meat Dutch baby, and then mommy cooked just a plain one sprinkled with powdered sugar. How do you like it, Charity? Oh, look at she wants her fruit. It's good. Oh. How do you think it was, Mom? That was good. I like them. Gracie, did well, you like it? Gracie has leftovers, so I'm thinking not really. I thought those Dutch babies were really good. I have the kids occupied and Grace is sleeping, so I think I'm going to see, see if I can plant 12 more pepper plants before everyone comes out screaming for mommy's attention. It's in the hot sun again, so my plan is only to do 12. I might get more in, but you know, for me, sometimes I have to break it down into bite-sized pieces so I can handle it mentally. So that's my goal right now. Hey girls, did you finish your watermelon? Look at that. They ate a lot of that watermelon. Art said they were so full from the watermelon, he threw something else in there and they just kind of stare, um, stared at it. It was like, you expect us to eat more? <laughs> Funny chickens. This is one of my favorite gardening tools, and I don't know if you can buy this at Amazon. I don't, I'm don't. i sure they must still make these. I picked this one up at a garage sale, but it's my absolute favorite. It's perfect for getting in between rows if you leave enough rows between your plants. You can just take this and weed between your rows, and it's definitely, I would recommend this to anyone who wants to start gardening. This is the tool for you. Definitely make sure you have this in your arsenal. Put in 20 pepper plants, four bells, 12 Italian sweet, and four banana peppers. But I don't remember what ones I put in on Saturday. I'll have, guess I'll have to go back and watch that video because I just don't remember. The last thing I have to put in will be the jalapenos and I have so many jalapenos over here. 
these two rows here are Italian sweet, but everything else is um, jalapeno peppers. And obviously, I don't need that many. I also have all these tomatoes left because I actually did more spacing this year with my tomato plants with hopes that it would keep some of the disease and actually make them produce more. It's an experiment. I'm going to give it a shot. If you can't figure out from watching the last week or two of videos, May, particularly the end of May and going into June is always really, really crazy busy with all the garden. And then once we get it in, there's pretty much just maintenance and the way we work our grass clippings and mulching, we don't have a whole lot of work to do after this, at least not to this quantity. Um, Another week or so we should have everything planted. It's just going to be visiting the garden, making sure we take care of any critters or pests or anything that come in that shouldn't be in there. And, you know, just wait for it to grow. I just finished filming and editing a product review on Gillette razors, and now we're just getting ready to put the girls down for their naps. Is it night night time, Gracie? What's in your head? A giraffe. A giraffe. Just you want your water? Oh, Peter. Mary, it's time for night night. Look at me. Okay, where are we going when we get up? It's uh, house. Grandma's house, yay! Oh, it's dark and it's sleepy time. And it's a dark and furry night. We're all at Grandpa's and Grandma's house for the picnic. Grandpa and Grandma have a dove's nest right in by their front door, and there is one egg in it. Egg. There's an egg, Grandpa. Grandpa's getting the grill out. I need the uh, striker. I'll get it. We made a salad for church yesterday and they didn't use any of it, so guess what? So we're going to eat it at our picnic today. Maybe Certified Angus today. beef, two forty nine a pound. That's not bad. No, I didn't think that was bad at all. They're going to take a little while to cook though. The kids are going to check the birds. There's a blue, blue bird fall in here. So I fly out. Bluebird or a barn troll? Let's see. Is he? No. Let's see. Oh, bluebirds are gone. Where are oh. they gone? No bluebirds. Did they get all eaten? Yes, just go home. Well, they probably hatched and moved away. They all hatched. They were hatched. Can I see? See? All there is is an empty nest. Oh, no, Finn. No eggs. There was eggs in there. Yes. But now they're gone. What did you find, John? I can't see it. The little birds in there. I can't How many? see it. He had the two eggs, three oh. eggs. Oh yeah, look at that. Three robin eggs. The kids are firing up the swimming pool. The kids like shooting these things, and this is how you do it. You go around the top. And Dad might fold it over, make it look like a nine, and then you pull it like that. And then shoot. I'll show you again. Up and over. Hold it like that. Try to fire. Oops, didn't work. Whoops. There we go. Fired it. How do you do it again? Yeah. Yeah. So reflecting. What? Uh -oh. It's a green pool. <laughs> green pool is in the basement. The green pool. I'm not uh oh. No, you letting the water out. Grandma is in the window getting pictures on the iPad. Okay, I don't want to get wet. Girls are playing with bubbles, and Gracie's playing with a ball, and the older kids are playing in water. Grace is in the water now too. Actually, this is more of a bath for her because she got really dirty from crawling around. Oh no! Watch out. John, watch out! <laughs> Here it comes! Peter! <laughs> I think they'll fall asleep. Watch out! Crazy! It's almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to call it a night. Tomorrow's a new day, and we finally have that cool front come through. It's nice and cool and not humid. And I am looking forward to a solid night's sleep with cool temperatures. So I hope you guys are staying cool where you guys are, and we will see you for our next vlog. Good night.